Well, I started out on this with collusion. Mm -hmm. There was obviously a lot of collusion. Do you believe the president himself colluded with the Russians? Yes, he colluded, and I, I don't think that's a hard answer to the question at all. Clear evidence that there was an attempt at collusion. There's plenty of evidence of collusion or conspiracy. Mountain of evidence of collusion. Evidence of willingness to commit collusion. The American presidency right now is the product of collusion. We know there was collusion with people in the campaign. I am so depending on our special counsel, Robert Mueller, uh, to connect the dots so that he can prove the collusion. The investigation did not establish that members of the Trump campaign conspired with the Russian government in its election interference activities. Robert Mueller, after two years of investigating, gave a very clear answer, and that was that there was no collusion. No collusion. Bottom line, no collusion. There was no collusion. There was no obstruction, no collusions. There was no collusion. There was no conspiracy. There was no collusion with Russia. Trump, Russia. Trump, Russia. Trump. Are you a good loser? I'm not a good loser. I don't like to lose. I don't lose too often. I don't like to lose. But are you gracious? You don't know until you see. It depends. I think mail-in voting is, is going to rig the election. I really do. Uh, are you suggesting that you might not accept the results of the election? I, I have to see. Look, it's like can a you give a, Can you give a direct answer? You will accept the election? I have to see. Look, you. I have to see. No, I'm not going to just say yes. I'm not going to say no. And I didn't last time either. Congresswoman, that's kind of remarkable. The president of the United States not able to commit to a journalist that he will respect the outcome of the election. Okay, let's see. I don't think these are on. Are they? Is it on? Okay. I have said all along that this man is a deplorable human being, uh, and certainly. Uh, there's nothing that he could say that would shock me anymore. And so he's already, uh, you know, basically talked about perhaps there might be a civil war. Uh, and when he tells you he cannot commit uh, to stepping down, believe him. This is the most flawed character uh, that I've ever uh, encountered in my life. <laughs> he's dangerous. And I believe him when he says that he cannot tell us whether or not he's going to accept, uh, you know, if he is not elected. Congresswoman, uh, first out of the gate, do you respect the outcome of this election and are you willing to work in the future with the Trump administration? Well, the election has taken place uh, and we have to wait and see who this man is. Uh, Are you suggesting that you might not accept the results of the election? I, I have to see. Can you give a direct answer? You will accept the election? I have to see. Do you respect the outcome of this election? Uh, and we have to wait and see who this man is. I have to see. Can you give a direct answer? You will accept the election? I have to see. Uh, and we have to wait and see who this man is and what he's going to do. I don't believe anything that Donald Trump says. Uh, he has lied and distorted information all throughout this campaign. I want to know when he's going to apologize to the disabled journalist about mocking him. <laughs> and yes, it's important to me that he apologizes to the disabled veteran that he mocked and mimicked. Disabled journalist, disabled veteran, disabled journalist, disabled veteran, disabled journalist, disabled veteran. Uh, he has lied and distorted information. You stupid. Uh, Donald Trump is trying to set up a scenario where when he loses, he's going to be able to say uh, that it was taken from him, uh, that the campaign had been rigged. And you know, it's so unpatriotic for him to do this. For African Americans who have fought so hard to strengthen our democracy by making sure that there's a strong voter system. Here you have a president who I can tell you and guarantee you is in collusion with the Russians. The investigation did not establish that members of the Trump campaign conspired with the Russian government in its election interference activities. Donald Trump has no credibility. He's a liar. He's trying to discourage people from coming to the polls. He doesn't believe in this country. And I know that he's going to be defeated. Go But, but this shouldn't man, you be, but uh, Congressman, no, with all no. due respect, shouldn't you be yes. worried about the fact and the, the, the reality is that Donald Trump was able to flip 
regularly blue states, turn them red. These are American voters that felt they left don't behind really by know. the Democratic they Party. They believed him. They believed they be him. Correct. They, they believed him when he said he's going to build a wall. He's not going to build anything. He's not going to build any wall, and he knows it. <laughs> Believe me, the American public does not appreciate double standards. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. This Russia connection is a serious issue. I've been talking about it for a long time. Representative Adam Schiff, a Democrat on the House panel investigating Donald Trump's ties to Russia, says uh, he's seeking testimony of a former British spy who wrote an unsubstantiated dossier of alleged collusion between Donald Trump and Russia. Uh, do you believe anything about that dossier? Oh, I think it should be uh, taken a look at. I think they should really read it, understand it, analyze it, and determine what's fact, what may not be fact. We already know that the part about uh, the coverage that they have on him uh, with sex actions uh, is supposed to be true. Wait, what? Uh, the coverage that they have on him uh, with sex actions uh, is supposed to be true. Uh, they've said that that's absolutely true. Some other things they kind of allude to. Yes, I think he should go into that dossier and see what's there. Remember what they did in the summer of 2016. They opened up an investigation to then-candidate Trump. They spy on two American citizens associated with his campaign. They used the now-famous dossier, the salacious, unverified dossier, Jim Comey's words, not mine, the dossier that they knew was Russian disinformation, that they knew was false, that they, that, that they knew was paid for by the Clinton campaign, and that they knew the guy who wrote it, Christopher Steele, had already told the Justice Department he was desperate to stop Trump. They used that as a basis to go spy on one of those two individuals. And then when all that happens, they get into the first few days of the Trump administration. And what do they do? They sneak over to the White House, don't follow proper protocol, don't notify the White House counsel that are coming over. They sneak two agents in there and they set up Michael Flynn. Donald Trump is not equal to Hillary Clinton. He has gotten away with profanity. I don't know how people can sit and watch him and invite people to kiss his rear end. Low IQ, Maxine Waters. Low IQ person. Invite people to kiss his rear end, to tell people to go F themselves. Uh, uh, Putin is continuing uh, to advance uh, into Korea. Uh, 